Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Life is Strange True Colors. And last episode, uh, episode, spoiler alert, um, our brother dies in a weird uh, accident that goes off with a siren. And we're moving on from there into a new chapter, trying to figure out why that went off, even though he said he called them to make sure that didn't happen. It still did. So we're, it's a mystery now to figure out who or what really killed our brother. And we're hopping into that. Okay, so we're back. Uh, why do we have dirty clothes here? Hang on. Let's clean this up. So if uh, another thing is last episode, we kind of got this like, See, romance going with I Steph. Person. Okay, clean up. That has some thing on our body, or our body, our type of person that we are. Um, we can now go upstairs as well. We weren't allowed to go up there. Let's go have a look. Yeah, so Steph asked if we like girls, and we said yes while playing foosball. So now we kind of have um, some sort of kind of, I don't know, like a, a little bit of a romance between us. We can see it in the eyes. So that's on the cards as well, so we got to keep an eye out for that. Ooh, got a... The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. Oh damn, we got the beers that we, uh, that we had with our brother just before he died. No birds today. Kind of part our fault. I'll toss those soon. I swear. Yeah, kind of our fault because of um, we told the kid that he can go up there. I don't know if, if if there's a different play where you don't let the kid go up there, and we get away with it. But for us, I feel like we we caused Gabe a lot really of it. Really loved this place. Gabe was such a dad. Why? Because he had a grill. He's a dad. No. This thing's been up here a while. Isn't that Steph's old band? Drugstore makeup? That's cool. Maybe you should take it out there. Hey yo. I bet Gabe could even make golf fun. Okay, well, let's get back to the story. I'm trying to see if I can run here. No, can't run. You can run sometimes, which is good. Okay, let's go back downstairs. We gotta go figure out why Mac didn't get the call. So I've been thinking, when he called, he remember he was trying to get through. He couldn't get through at the mine. He was like ringing, like pick up, pick up. But then he came back. We didn't hear the conversation, and he said that they said they that they turned it off, the the blast. I don't know though. So we didn't hear it actually. The conversation. Oh no. Alex, I am having a small event for your brother tomorrow online. I'd love to have you there, but no pressure. Okay. Okay, Jed. Let me know if you need any groceries. Thanks, Jed. Yeah. Oh, Jed's leaving us a lot of messages. All right, let's go. Jed's a really big fatter figure for a lot of people in this game. Um. Especially Gabe as well, because he was such good friends with his actual son, Ryan. Which was questionable as well. I'm trying to figure out if Ryan's uh, on the question of being someone that might cause this. Because he's weird, kind of. Oh, there was a fight here too, wasn't there? Between Mac and Ryan. A mystery, right? Let's we'll figure this out. Okay, let's have a look. Pick that up. Jed. Oh, hey, kid, you don't have to do that. Too late. Wanted to apologize for all of us. We're all grieving, but that's no excuse. It was your brother's wake. And you both deserve better than listening to a bunch of fools squabble. Appreciate it. I appreciate it. That was pretty rough. Although it's hard to imagine a good version of your dead brother's wake. No, True. There's no good version. Just all of us trying to get through it together the best we can. Wasn't the first wake held in this old building. 
I doubt it'll be the last. Anyway, if there's anything I can do, just let me know. I need to talk to Mac. I know he's lying. I just don't know why. Any idea where I can find him? Well, he helps out Eleanor at the flower shop. That'd be the place to start. Thanks. He's not gonna be there because they broke up, no? I feel like I should warn you, though. You might not get the kind of closure you're looking for. If you get any at all. Just... Don't pin all your hopes on Mac Loudon. Thanks for looking out for me, but what else am I supposed to do? I wish I had an answer for you. But if you get a chance before you go all dirty, Harry, swing by the dispensary. Charlotte wants to see you. And one more thing. I've been meaning to give you this for the last few days, but I didn't want to disturb you up there. It'll get you through that door and the one upstairs. This is your home now, for as long as you'd like. What about, what about rent? rent? I don't want to be a freeloader. Don't worry about that for right now. We'll work out a way for you to earn your keep when the time comes. And Jed's an absolute gent. Thank you. Give him hell. <laughs> I'm working that little bar as well. It'd be a crack, it'd be fun. Like that. I... Ryan. I have no idea what to even say to him. Shouldn't have to see that. Can we talk? I know it's asking a lot, but I really need to talk to you. What the hell? Okay. Charlotte. Steph. I'm so sorry. I love Gabe. I can only really imagine what you're going through. Please call me if you need anything. You can call people. Can we? Lucky. Out here. Riley. Wait, what was that? Hang on. What else do we have to do here? I don't know. Just my block. Gabe was the most caring person I ever met. He never stopped looking for the better way of life. He meant to come in to happen to his dad, fighting to the girl. It's like a joint thing they have that they're able to just talk normally. Okay. Okay, let's get going. We've seen most of that already. Who the hell? Wait, what? What was, what was that? I thought something went off there. Oh, this is Steph. A year ago, I was going to ditch this place, keep moving. Like I always do, a year ago, Gabe was the reason I stayed. But even though... I was just everyone showing love for Gabe, really. Let's go. RM and TB. I wonder who they were. RM and TB. RM. Riley. TB. TB is a disease, right? <laughs> Someone got TB. Because even comes below, who do you think it is? Right now. Because I don't I'm, I really don't know. It's so, so many different people. We're going to solve it. You wait and see. Okay. Jed said I might find Mac in the flower shop. But I have time to swing by the dispensary if I want. <laughs> Charlotte wants us. Hello, Charlotte. You come by the dispensary sometime. I think I need your advice. Okay, Charlotte. I'm cooking up a new adventure for Haven. DM me if you want to get involved. What is this? What do you DM her for this? You no, know I don't even know how to reply to these things. Is there an option to reply? No, there is not. There's not. There would be, right? Steph messages, though. Nothing big. I'll tell you when you get here. 
Okay, we gotta go to the record store too. So we'll go to Steph first. So Steph's our new lover. Lol. Alright, here we go. We got Pike. Hey, Pike. Hey! Um, how you holding up? Uh, say I'm okay. Been better. I'm okay. Okay is good. I think. Hey, I want you to know I meant what I said back there. Gabe was something else. He could bring a smile to my face even on the worst days. Yeah, that's what everyone's been saying. And, uh, when you're ready, I still need to get your statement for the investigation. <laughs> I'll be ready soon, Max, a liar. And I'll just be ready soon. I think I'll be ready soon. Yeah. Yeah. No rush. I think we need to figure out more what's going on. There's so much behind everything here. Alright, we need to go to the record store anyway. First thing first. Nice to know. Hipsters can survive at this altitude. It's a little town. Alright, uh... Where is the record store? That is Charlotte's store, right? Silver Dragon? This is the record store. Steph asked me to pop by the record store if I had time. We got time, let's go in. Not that she has anything to do with the investigation, but we did leave off with stuff last time, so. I'll be just doesn't copyright either. I turned off copyright, but I still got copyright claim in the Steph last video. So. She's got to be around here somewhere. Right, let's go look. The cat's still here. Drinky bird. Is she singing? That's not her singing, is it? Oh, okay. Hey, I'm glad you stopped by. I've only got a sec, but... Have you talked to Ethan at all? Ethan's the kid, right? Yeah, he is, yeah. He's taking it really hard. But what you did for me this morning got me thinking. What if Ethan needs something like that, too? Something fun and distracting. Something like a LARP. Like the one you and Gabe were going to take him to? Yeah, but designed just for him and Thanor. Good idea. He'll love that. Yeah, I'm glad you think so. I need your help, though. I want it to be as good as it can be. Ethan gave you one of his comics, right? So, what do you think? Who would the famous monster slayer have the most fun defeating? Kravis, Lord of the Underworld. Storm Writer the Undead. It's gotta be Storm Writer the Undead. That was way cooler, no? Am I losing my brain? I'm gonna go with Storm Writer, man. Storm Writer looks like a worthy opponent. He gets my vote. <laughs> All right, then. Let's go. Let's get it. I gotta get back in there. There's some stuff in my comp book. It'd be cool if you could check it out. Help me make some calls. I'll see what I can do. What is this? We just have to do some work for him now? Booty guy. Hey, uh, Haven listeners. That was Phone Tap with their new single, Elephant in the Room. He's sad. This guy's sad. Sweet block of indie rock. How could Chrissy leave me? After everything we've been through together. It's hard to beat breakup music. Mm -hmm. But maybe I can find something around here to cheer him up. No, not cheer him up. Oh. Looks like Steph wants me to do more than Alex, just make some decisions. Put in your character. She wants me to play a bard. A bard, half elf, bard. Abilities Disorientation Field or Healing Serenade. I don't know what that says. Surrogate or ser Serenade? I don't know what that says. Um level one. Health points ten. Okay. Guess I'm in. Let's start with my name. 
Alto Alexandra. It's gotta be Alexandra, I think. Altos. Alexandra. There's beauty and simplicity. Ability time. Press Ash your name. Distortion Sorry. Field Alto would have better. But healing serenade could really come in handy. No, I'm not healing anybody. I want to be putting people off. Let's go with distortion field. How did I meet Thanor? Um, I'm gonna go. Only for a heroic story. I don't care. It really matters, is it? The heroic story, because we have that power. We probably have that somehow. It was a dark and stormy night. This LARP thing just might work. It'll be good. All right, all done. Let's bounce. Helpful. Okay, we're done here. All right, we gotta go so see Charlotte at the dispensary. I don't know what that means. Does this mean her shop? I'm thinking this is a shop. I'll go to her shop and we'll see. Still need to check the flower shop for Mac. Yeah, but okay. I wonder if that's working on this. Cool, it should be hammer. Looks good. I think that was nicer. The shock thing was cooler. Yeah, let's go with this. Might be a good time to check out the dispensary. Jed said Charlotte wants to talk to me. There we go. Might as well take oh, all these off sorry. in the way. We met briefly. You're Gabe Chen's sister, right? Alex, yeah. I didn't know him well, but I could tell he had a big heart. I'm so sorry for your loss. She's a weirdo too. I don't trust that girl. Or is she from DC again? I can't remember what she said, but I don't trust anyone right now. I need to figure out what's going on. It's the first time we've actually been in here. Gabe went in here last time with the flowers. Let's see what it's like. Charlotte? Alex? Hey. Jed said you wanted to see me? I just wanted to see how you were doing. I've been trying to stay busy mostly. Yeah. Distractions help. How about you? I can't even imagine what you're going through. Honestly, I'm really trying to keep it together for Ethan. He's hurting. I hear he's been having a rough time. He practically just lost a father. But he's shutting me out. He's never done that before. Not when it mattered. Stay strong. You'll get through the hard parts. Both of you. Easier said than done, huh? Yeah. No shit. I can't get over the feeling that the one person who could help me deal with the aftermath of Gabe's death... ...is Gabe. What is this? An affidavit. From Typhon. If I sign, I'm agreeing not to press charges. In exchange for a payment. A big one. That's so shady. Why would they be offering you money? If they didn't do anything wrong. They say it's an offer of good faith. But you're mm -hmm. right. 
He's dead because of them. And I'd be letting them off. Are you gonna sign it? I don't know. I'm trying to put Ethan first, but... What would you do? I won't sign that shit. Do you think it would be a betrayal of Gabe? Yes. I don't think you should sign it. I'm sorry. I know it's hard, but you can't let Typhon buy you off. Gabe made that call. And I'm going to prove it. I just... I need some time. Thanks for being honest. She doesn't care. She's taking the money. I, I like, I get it. Okay, if money. they're willing to pay Charlotte to keep quiet, they're definitely hiding something. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. They're hiding I something. Really appreciate of course, she's right. But I could really use that money. We can't give in, no matter how hard it is. I really love Charlotte's style. <laughs> that was a bad time. Okay, sculpture. Very weird one. That's a Zemi. What was that? That's so the weird. They're said to house the spirits of gods. Mostly, I just like how it looks. It's really cool. And that was really weird. And he did it all with one rusty saw and a bottle of gin. Oh my god. Look, it's TB. Tuberculosis patients were treat we literally just read that back on this chair. It said like whatever R something on TB. <laughs> a coincidence? And we got weed over here. Hey. These bougie dispensaries are gonna put all the creepy dudes named Jean out of business. Charlotte's dedication to her art is so inspiring. Given the circumstances, I could definitely go for a few of these. You gummies. What else we got? Marijuana tea. There's nothing quite like a cup of weed on a cold day. Not sure about that one. Um, all right, this is good enough. I gotta move on here. Guys, what do you think? Would you have bought, took the money? I don't I don't think take the money in that situation because there's clearly something sketchy going on. And if you get bought off, then you close the case and you can't reopen it. So at the very least, look into it and then take the buyout if you're going to lose. What's that woman doing? She's up to something. Still need to check the flower shop for Mac. Now, a second. Let's go back over here and see what they're talking about. Sure. I have a pottery class Wednesday night. Want to join? Class, uh, maybe. Come on, man. Can't you take a hint? She's not into you. Let it go. That's rough. I usually grab a bite with Katie. If I tell him I like him, we'll date, and then we'll break up. Just the two of us. And then I'll lose my best friend. Hmm. Maybe I could help them. What? Wait, hell no. What am I thinking? This is none of my business. That's funny. She can like literally read her minds. Like she knows what they're thinking. Sorry about today. Why should one accident close all the trails? What a wasted vacation. Yes, we're all suffering here. My God, like who the hell says stuff like that? Someone died. Like. I think. That Man, these overnight shifts really take it out of me. Yeah. Do I talk about the accident? How would I know that? Fuck. Now I'm on Diane's shit list. Thanks, Diane. Diane, that's your one, right? So she's hiding something. Okay, so the girl in the suit, she's hiding something. We can get back to her after. For now, we go to the flower shop. I've seen her talking to them guys, and she, that's what she said to them. She said, tell them to stay quiet. Okay, that was kind of creepy. Hey, okay, what? Oh, flower show. Here we go. Okay, we're looking for Mac. 
Okay, this is going to be awkward because you have to talk to Mac and... You know, last time we actually properly talked to him, we bet shit him and got his girlfriend to pick up with him. So... Let's hope that he doesn't hold a grudge. Eleanor? Oh! oh. Sorry. <laughs> no need to apologize. How are you, dear? Oh. I'm, um... I'm okay, I guess. Taking it one moment at a time. It's the best way to be. What is this awkwardness? Uh, is Mac here? Oh, he was helping me not too long ago. I think he just left. Can't have gotten too far. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Thanks. Now, what was I? Hmm. Oh, this lady. She looks terrified. I can't leave her like this. I think she forgot something. She has dementia or something, does she? Figure out why she's afraid. All oh, my memories, oh, my memories are fading. Mm. I, feel I feel broken. She has dementia or something. That's why I thought when she said she's gonna remember there. Well, this is in her flowers. The doctor said I had more time, but everything is becoming so out of order. Her mind is slipping. If they know if they about know my about condition, my condition, they'll make me close, they'll make this, close place. this place. That mustn't be a just got one more. I'm pretty sure you can't just be walking around a shop like this, looking through stuff. If Riley, if Riley finds, finds out, out, she can't, she can't find, out. find out. Thank you, dear. I'll get started on it right away. Just come by with the check whenever you're free. Sure what's going on right now it's not just that she forgot what she was doing but she's afraid she's forgetting everything but how can i help her <laughs> i 
Let's go talk to her again. Help. Forget what you were working on? <sighs> you could say I'm having a bit of a senior moment. <laughs> well, maybe I can help. Seems like you have a lot going on today. I could help you retrace your steps. Oh, I, I don't want to keep you. <sighs> hey. I... I want to help. That's nice. Okay. What would Eleanor have done first? Open the door. You must have flipped the sign to open. I always flip it first thing when I come in, and then I open my mail. Something must have distracted me. Better. We can do this. Well, this must have distracted her this thing in here, right? Or not. Flowers. Did you trim these flowers today? I don't remember. Hmm. There's absolutely not else out here. She must have went to the back room. Maybe she got a phone call? Or she went to the register. You were over here when I came in. Maybe you were counting the drawer. You don't have to do this. I'll be alright on my own. <laughs> hey. I'm not going anywhere. Did anything happen with Riley? Uh, I don't know. Could a phone call have distracted you? Yes. I got a call first thing in the morning. But I can't think who it was. Maybe we can find something to remind you. Maybe a letter? Maybe a letter. You were over here when I came in. Maybe you were counting the drawer. I would have done that last night. Could it have been Riley who called? I think that's right. She called to tell me about a new order. Oh, goodness. What was the order for? So should we check the drawer? Did she have the order in the drawer? It's gotta be this now, right? You were over here when I came in. Maybe you were counting the drawer. I've said that so many times. I would have done that last night. Okay, jeez. What else is there in here? Is that red? I'm missing something there, hang on. Oh, she needs rush order. This must be what Riley came in for. Yes. I think that order might have been for these lilies. <laughs> of course. 
Riley helped me pick them out before she left. Now we just have to figure out who ordered them. No, it has to be the register, right? The check for the lilies would be in here, right? That could tell us who bought them. Should. Mr. Jedediah Lucan, huh? Don't know who that is. Looks like the lilies are for Jed. Oh, Jed. His name is Jedediah Lucan. That's right. I didn't know that. Riley dropped off an order for Jed. I knew you'd figure it out. I couldn't have done it without you. Seriously, Alex. You're a godsend. Jed must be hosting some event. I wonder why he wants lilies, though. They're traditionally for funerals. God. She doesn't remember. Spare her the pain? Tell her about it. Like... I presume we tell her. Like. They were. <laughs> they were for Gabe's wake. Gabe's wake? Gabe's wake? I. missed it. I'm so sorry. Hey, it's um... Excuse me. <laughs> I think it's better off telling them because if you just keep okay. going around. That sucked. Yeah. But at least at you told least the truth. I told her the truth. Exactly. Took the words right out of my mouth. Okay. Riley is officially a badass. Okay, we gotta go find Mac now. That was a bit rough now for us having to uh... Oh, what do you want? You wanna make fun of me too, like those other jock assholes? What? No. I... You made a sick killer robot and won a fucking contest. That's. First of all, we got third place, and anyway, he's not a robot. Technically, he's... Oh, God. Way to take the bait, Rai. Is that you know how... Oh. Fuck those pricks. You rule, and I would really like to see your robot, if you want to show me. So is this how Mac and Riley met at a robot competition thing? Okay, this flower shop was very, very adventurous. So now what we gotta do? Yeah, we gotta go look for Mac. That was at the flower shop not too long ago. I don't know how we're gonna trace his tracks. <clears throat> Shouldn't tell us what way he went or anything. Eleanor said Mac is nearby. I don't... We couldn't get more exciting news. New face joined the thingy. Blah blah blah. Jack Stevens will be taking over the restaurant next to the park. Hey everyone. It's a trap. JK JK. Welcome to Haven Swing over any time. Okay. See him here. Steph again? I think Eden's gonna love it. Great. Good stuff. Maybe at the bridge? Alright, let's go to the bridge and have a look. How's your progress in Moondrop Ranch? Eleanor? Oh. Did you buy your chicken coop? <laughs> did you get your chicken coop? Not today. There's Mac. He's at the Zen moment area. Hello, Mr. Mac. I'm so fucked. Can't hide from me forever, Mac. Why is he fucked? Let's see. Mac. Here we go. Alex. <laughs> Look, it's not a good time. You owe me an explanation about what happened to Gabe. What? 
costume of my girlfriend wasn't enough for you? Now you're gonna accuse me of killing Gabe too? I get it. He died on your shift and you're freaked, but you have to come clean. Please. There's nothing I can tell you. Mac, come on. He was my big brother. No, he's hiding something. Like, come on. I can't. I think. Something definitely has him scared. Pay Maybe off. if I could tap into his fear, I could get to the truth. Hmm. I just need to find something I could use to push him over the edge. Everyone's out to get me. Alex, Ryan, even Riley. Fuck! Even Riley? Did something happen with her? Everyone's out to get me. There was. Alex, Ryan, even Riley. Fuck! Something to push Mac over the edge. Maybe we find Riley? So Riley's a hint there? Okay, we can't go that way. Fair enough. This is literally just our little our little area here. We've met all these people, right? We've done all this stuff. We have some over here, hang on. The park looks fun to explore. Oh, customers here are a lot nicer than in Denver. Never been to Denver, but I guarantee they're nice here. Mm -hmm. There's a statue. So she said we we're gonna go to the park. Ethan when he was little. This whole thing is so... There's literally nothing I can do for Ethan. I feel so useless. I've been there. Who's glasses guy? Who is that guy? So Ethan must be over here. Where are you hiding, my feathered friend? Oh, sorry. Cool binoculars. You bird watching? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to win a contest. Oh, good luck. Thanks. Oh, sorry. You're fine. Wait, what? Why'd you say sorry? Yeah, let's go down through here. Newspaper guy. Uh, this is awful. He was so young. There's he must Aiden. be reading about Gabe. Okay, we're gonna go over here and check this and we're gonna be eating them. What if I die tomorrow? Just like that guy. What have I done with my life? I don't have any easy answers for that. Jesus Christ, what is everyone's Yeah, he's gonna eat now. He's pretty shook right now. Ooh, he's angry. Everyone needs to stop telling me it's okay. It's not. Fuck. Losing Gabe's been hard enough for a supposed grown-up like me. But for Ethan. New dialogue unlocked. Okay, let's see what's going on. Hey, buddy. Hey, Alex. Okay. I'll ask him if you want to talk first. Do you want to talk about it? I'm fine. Okay. Definitely not fine. I'm here for you whenever you need me. They picked anybody wrong choice, did I? I think he's just being a little, a little bit upset, right? Beer balls, some kayaks. If not for the paddling, kayaking would be super relaxing. Ooh, a zen moment up here. You can sit down. Let's have, let's have a seat. Let's have a sit next to the water and see. Ooh, some music playing. Don't 
do I even want to stay here without Gabe? In this state I've never been to before. This town I've been in for less than a week. Not that I know where else I'd even go. Back to the nothing waiting for me in Portland. Fuck. I have no idea what comes next. But I'm not leaving here without answers about Gabe. At least I know that. Do I leave here? It's kind of cool that that interacted with what's going on. I don't know if that was a thing. I didn't know they'd have that. <laughs> I wonder how many fish Ducky's caught in this thing. Ducky, 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 ducky. No, no. Oh, found her. Found Riley. She's hiding. If he's innocent, why is he acting like this? Acting like what? Maybe I can get her to tell me. <laughs> nice. So we found her. This is probably our next step. Hey, Riley. Gabe, Eleanor, Mac. Um. Yep. I know you and Gabe were close. How are you doing? I miss him so much. <laughs> he was like an older brother to me. I'm glad you had him. He was a really good guy, Alex. You and Eleanor seem close. She's taken care of me ever since I was little. I never really knew my mom, but she's always been there for me. Does she know she's doing her mind? What does she think about you going away to school? She's thrilled. I think she just wants me to end up happy. That's really sweet. She's the most selfless person I know. I know having you work with her in the shop has meant the world. Yeah. To both of us. Okay, now Mac. That fight Mac had with Gabe over your secret meetings. They were about you applying to college, right? Yeah. Ever since the first time Mac lost his shit in front of him, Gabe and Charlotte had tried to get me to end things with him. And after all this, I can see that they were right. <laughs> T 
think he ignored Gabe's call. Do you think he's telling the truth about the call? <laughs> that Gabe never made it? No, I, I... It's not that... I... Sorry. I'm really not ready to talk about it. Hmm. Acting so weird. Let's push this a bit. Yeah. I get it. It's just... If he didn't do anything wrong, why is he acting like he has something to hide? He asked me to leave Haven with him. What? Right after the wake. He wouldn't tell me why. But he just looked so guilty. I told him no, and that we were done. And now, I'm scared he did something horrible. You think it's Mac? Riley, thank you for telling me. I want to skip town. You deserve the truth. There's something going on here. Something big time. I gotta run. Maybe behind the scenes. There's some stuff I need to do. Okay. Yeah, like confront Mac with the news. We'll talk soon? Yeah, of course you will. Yeah. Whenever you want. Thank you for all your patience. If these things are still under there, but bad. Uh, time to return. I just went. How did she just write that? She's you right beside us. Mac trying to skip town is sketchy as shit. I bet I could use that to stoke his fear. Yeah, you could. Let's go down and make him feel a fear. Why would he see? I feel like something like would work, or he wasn't there, or he missed the call. And that's his fault because he missed the call, or I don't know. Let's I see what should says. make sure there's nothing else I want to do before I confront Mac. Why is this a big moment? I did everything. I did everything. Do I gotta go back to step for any reason? No, I'm okay. Yeah, I'm good. Everyone's out to get me. All right, let's go. What Riley told me might do it, but I should make sure there isn't anything I still want to do around town first. Yeah, I'm ready, right? We did everything. I'm good. Okay, let's do this. Your ex-girlfriend told me about your plans to skip town. That's not something innocent people do. Oh no. It's not. I didn't do anything. <sighs> Fuck off! Leave me alone! He's scared. Big time. Oh, he thinks everyone's looking at him. with Mac when I get to him. For now, I need to learn everything I can. Typhon's always watching. They run this whole town. So Typhon might Mac be the problem. Like everyone's staring at him. Everyone thinks I killed him. They all hate me. Wrong. 
Oh, here we go. It should have been you instead. Alex? Oh, what? You think I killed himself? No. What the hell? There are people out there. No, I told you to call it off. I saw the way they looked at me at the wake. They all think I let him die. He told them not to do it, but they... I know why you're lying. Typhon's forcing you to deny the call. I know you tried to stop it. They fucked up, not you. Stop lying for them! You don't get it. This wasn't some accident. I told them you were down there, and they detonated anyway. On purpose? Why? I don't know. I swear. And then I get a message telling me to deny there was ever a call. You gotta believe me. Gabe and I, we didn't get along, but I, I didn't want him dead. And now, now Typhon's watching me. My girlfriend, she, she thinks I'm a murderer. My neighbors all hate me. I mean, what, what, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I think I can calm him down. But does he deserve it? He deserves it, man. Calm back down. I know he's been a dick, but like... He's been pressured in by a company which he shouldn't have done in the first place, but... But calm down. We can use Mac as a witness right. to get Typhon. Mac. Come on. You gotta calm down, okay? Dude. Stay with me. I know what it's like to be doubted. To have everyone think the worst of you. But the truth will come out. I'll make sure of it. But Typhon... If Typhon comes after you, they're gonna have to get through me too, okay? Mac knows we're a bigger, stronger guy than him. After we whooped him in episode Uno. I actually feel a little better. <laughs> yeah, well, you learn a thing or two hanging out with shrinks your whole life. <laughs> so, what are you gonna do now? Don't leave Haven. I'm gonna get to the truth. <laughs> the wall just says fuck Typhon. Love that. Alright, so Mac did try to stop it, but he got pressured and was told to deny everything about it. I presume they said he'd lose everything. His, his job, his money, all that stuff. Where do we go from here, though? How do we even get in touch with them? Hang on. Hey. Yeah, it's... Can we talk? Where are you? Okay. The trees look way better from there. I'm gonna need to look so pixelated. Are we in a mountain? Who the hell are we meeting out here? That rhyme? We have to jump off a cliff here. You were right. About Typhon, about Mac. Alex. Mac got the call. 
How do you know that? He got the call and he lied about it. Doesn't matter. Someone is putting pressure on him to keep quiet. Someone from the mine and- It doesn't matter. I keep coming here and playing it back. But it always ends the same. Ryan. He's dead. He's really dead, Alex. Okay, we're gonna have to deal with anger now, and this is the worst one. So. my fault my job is to keep people safe and I failed Ryan I owe you my life he did save us in fairness she's wrong I let her cross that log. I put Gabe in harm's way. I'm not a hero. I'm a coward. Worse than worthless. I know what it's like to feel worthless and helpless. But we saved Ethan. And you saved me. It doesn't matter. Gabe's dead because of me. Gabe, I'm so sorry. Gabe loved you, Ryan. He would forgive you. You know that. You're not alone. <laughs> this man's hurting. I feel like he's about to walk off the edge there, no? I feel like he was about to walk off the edge. No joke. I wonder he needed her to call him. He was struggling. <laughs> There's a guy in a gorilla suit? <laughs> Does he also jump off of the cliff and into the pool? No, no, he chases a guy in a banana suit. That guy jumps <laughs> off the cliff and into the pool. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. This is a Mexican restaurant? Eh, nominally. <laughs> <laughs> the food is, uh, well, terrible. But it's Gabe's favorite place. <laughs> I tell you, he's the oldest 12-year-old I know. Who's this assistant? Can I ask you something? They're just telling the stories, right? I thought they were looking at the clouds. Of course. You came up here to tell me that I was right about Mac. About him getting the call. <laughs> How did you know? There's something you should know about me. And it's going to be easier to show you than to explain it. This is going to seem sort of weird at first. Then really weird. Do you trust me?
I think of something sad. Maybe sad. I don't want to get scared or angry. Sad. Okay. Think of something sad. Like, breaks your heart sad. Really focus until you feel it. You said you'll never hear it again. <laughs> never a dull moment. <laughs> the kinds of stuff we got up to. He's not gonna notice that she just read his mind. <laughs> Whatever it is you're thinking about right now, don't stop, okay? Keep going. Okay. <laughs> what emotion is this? Guys having a weird happy attack. <laughs> it's like a happy memory? Like what is Must this? Be a good memory. Oh. I wonder if I can piece it together. Using the clouds to piece together a memory. Gabe. Goose. Goose. I see it. Goose. It'll move. It's not moving. It'll move. Gabe! <laughs> so he, ran, he nearly ran over a goose. That's one thing that happened. Just thinking about funny memories. That's all he's doing. How deep you think? Deeper than that. If the Royal Canadian Mounted Police can spot a goose grave at a hundred paces. The Mounties? Is it weird that it's a goose? And I'm actually. Oh, goose? come on, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. How long were you gonna let me dig? <laughs> I wasn't gonna stop you. <laughs> Last one. <laughs> to run over a goose to bury it. Oh, that's a lot of blood, huh? Okay, this is serious. <laughs> Killing a Canadian goose is a violation of international law. Shut up. It is not. They're Canadian geese, Gabe. Property of the crown. The, the crown of... Property of the crown, Gabe. What do we do? <laughs> So, <laughs> did you finish burying the goose or not? <laughs> okay, also, property of the crown? <laughs> really? <laughs> well, they are technically protected under the Migratory Bird Treaty Act. <laughs> <laughs> How? We're going to go with superhero here, 100%. So, I guess I have this power. I can see other people's emotions. They show up like an aura, and if I get too close, I, I feel what they feel. As if... I was feeling it myself. And when I focus, I can even understand why they're feeling it. 
And that's what you just did with... with me? Whew. Some kind of power. No kidding. It's... it's only ever been the bad emotions before. But... that... that was... pure joy. Who else knows? Nobody now, just you. Kate did. But now I guess. Like anyone that finds out gets the. Just you. So Ryan better watch out. And that's how I know Max terrified of Typhon. He reported Gabe's call and they ignored it. Now they're putting pressure on him to toe the line. Okay, but. Why? I don't know yet. Someone made the decision to let the blast go off. Seems like finding out who would be a good start. I can get one from DC, girl. So you're going after Typhon. You'll need help. Yes, we will. You don't have to. You're stuck with me now. Okay. <laughs> Han checks felt weird. Look at my hog. It did save our life and a lot of stuff. Welcome, I guess. Han check would have been weird, like. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. No. Thank you. No problem, Ryan. Your weird ass memories with a goose. What a weird memory. That can't be that funny. Okay, we're back in the record store. This one's for you, Gabe. I miss you. I'm pretty sure I've copyright on, so they shouldn't play if it's a copyright music song. But if it's not, enjoy. It mustn't be. speak this morning I couldn't hearing everyone talk about him about the life he had here with all of you I lost the chance to have that but even though I only had one day with him he changed my life said I didn't know if I belonged here he told me that home isn't something you find it's something you build
I fucking knew it. I knew that bitch. I knew I knew it was her. Well, she's involved with the next stage and the next chapter. But um that is that chapter for now. Yeah, we'll leave it there, guys. But for the next episode, we're starting a new chapter, which will be chapter three. So hopefully you're enjoying. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one. See ya.